windows, and uh, I'm here today to show you how to measure for storm windows. Uh, it's fairly simple. Uh, what we have here, and this of course is a vinyl window, which we have put inside of a wood frame. Uh, just to remind you here, you do not want to put storm windows over a vinyl window, as it could really uh, damage your vinyl, cause a lot of warpage, and give you a lot of problems. So we're just using this today for a demonstration uh, to show you how to measure for storm windows. Uh, first of all, let me identify some things on your wood window. We're on the outside as if you were standing on the outside of your house. Uh, this piece of wood you see here and here and here uh, are known as brick mold. Uh, this would be your sill. Uh, now if you're measuring for a blind stop application, the blind stop lies just inside the brick mold, uh, back inside of here. So you get your tape measure, you simply want to put your tape against the brick mold here, measure right over there, and on this one here I can see a good 36 inches. That's what I would say this is. It's 36 inches wide here. Now that is my opening side. Uh, on the height, we're going to just basically come in to the corner of the bottom of your brick mold, down to your sill, where it's going to sit on the sill right here. I'm seeing 47 inches here. Uh, that is pretty much a common size for storm windows also. So uh, what we would do, we would call this a 36 by 47. Uh, we reduce an eighth inch from your width, an eighth inch from your height, so that it will fit inside the opening you just measured. For example, we've already measured this. We made a frame. Uh, reduce the eighth inch, like you said. This will go right up in there like that, swing your bottom in, and let it sit down on your sill. At the bottom of the window here, you can see an expander, because we have a space here, so you might want your window to come up a little bit and let your expander come down to your sill so that everything lies flush against your sill. This moves up and down right here, gives you a small amount of adjustment. Then you basically run your screws and install your window. Okay. Now, you might have a window that doesn't have this blind stop. In that case, we call that an overlap window. You measure the very same way. You get in between your brick mold, just like before, your 36, your 47. That's your opening size. But you would tell uh, your, your salesperson that you want to overlap your opening also made a frame for that. On an overlap opening, we add an inch and a quarter to your width, three quarters of an inch to your height, because you're going to end up on the outside of your brick mold here and up here. Therefore, the window is going to sit outside and screw to the brick mold versus screwing to the blind stop. Uh, this is not the preferred way to do it, but it may be your only choice. Uh, the preferred way would be to mount in here on the blind stop. That allows you to remove your inserts to the inside for cleaning purposes. Uh, this way, uh, if you overlap, they may or may not come inside. Once again, you may not have a choice. You may have to mount this way, uh, but having a storm window is better than no storm window at all, so this may be a good choice for you if you have no blind stop. Uh, just real quick, just wanted to show you what a complete storm window looks like. Uh, as you can see, it's a pretty simple window, top glass, bottom glass on the outside is your screen. Uh, this mounts up into your opening like we showed you with the empty frames. That's pretty much it. Uh, I hope this helps you with uh, measuring for your storm windows.